At least five people have been killed and more than 20 injured in a bus crash in a motorway in the eastern German city of Leipzig. The incident took place as the Flix bus that headed from Berlin to Zurich veered to the right on the busy A9 Autobahn before falling onto its side. The bus had 53 passengers and two drivers on board. Rescue helicopters and ambulances have been brought to the scene of the incident, police said. The A9 Autobahn linking Berlin and Munich has been closed in both directions. The exact circumstances of the accident are not yet known. We are of course working closely with the local authorities and the emergency services on site and will do everything in our power to clarify the cause of the accident quickly and completely," Flixbus company said. Local hospitals have been instructed to prepare for a major emergency. Russian army captured the villages of Tonenkin or Livka to the west of Avdiivka, according to Bild. This belt, which was supposed to be equipped as a defense belt, fell under the blows of the Russian army, which managed to move forward with the massive use of people and equipment, much of which was lost, writes the publication's military observer Julian Rock. According to him, the fighting continues only for Burdikite Moscow has made a number of gains in recent months, pressing its advantage on the battlefield as Kiev struggles with shortages of ammunition and troops. On the Avdiivka front, units of the center grouping of troops liberated the village of Orlivka, the Russian defense ministry said, the reported capture comes a little over a month after Russian forces seized the nearby town of Avdiivka following one of the bloodiest battles in the conflict. Russia's defense ministry also said that it had captured the village of Tonenk in the eastern Donetsk region. This comes after it captured the village of Orlivka and over a month after the fall of the city of Avdiivka, which followed one of the bloodiest battles in the war advances by Vladimir Putin's army in eastern Ukraine have slowed but a shortage of munitions for Ukrainian forces is likely making it more difficult for them to hold positions, British Defense Ministry said. The pace of the Russian operations is believed to have gone down partly due to Putin's military suffering heavy losses when. Seizing the city of Avdiivka in the Donetsk province die and its latest intelligence update, the Ministry of Defense in London said, Russian forces continue to focus operations in Donetsk Oblast, eastern Ukraine, making minor gains. They have attempted to expand areas of control northwest of Donetsk city and are highly likely contesting a string of villages including Orlivka, Tonank, Pervomaisk, and Nevelsk. Russian advances have slowed in recent weeks, likely partially due to heavy losses sustained in the Avdiivka campaign. The situation remains unstable, with Ukrainian shortages of personnel and munitions likely limiting their ability to hold positions. North Korean leader orders military to step up preparations for war. Kim Jong-un's danger unveiled. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ordered North Korea's military to intensify preparations for a possible war, according to the state news agency KCNA. He visited a parade of a tank division whose soldiers, unwaveringly faithful and absolutely obedient to the orders of the party's central committee, are ready to pave the way for victory on future battlefields. Bloomberg notes that Kim Jong-un has demonstrated new signs that he is preparing for war, stating that the time for peaceful reunification with South Korea has passed and he has the right to destroy his neighbor. To reinforce his threats, Kim is bolstering his strike capabilities by conducting rapid tests of his advanced ballistic missiles, making them larger, deadlier and more capable of striking the US and its Asian allies. North Korea is working on a range of ballistic missiles designed to carry nuclear warheads to strike US allies, South Korea and Japan, longer range missiles capable of hitting US bases in Guam, and intercontinental ballistic missiles intended to deliver a nuclear strike on New York or Washington. Kim has also modernized his missile arsenal, abandoning Soviet-era Scud variants, which were the mainstay in favor of missiles that rely heavily on domestic technology and can be launched despite sanctions. He also aims to miniaturize warheads for regional strikes and increase the power of intercontinental ballistic missiles warheads.
Kim has unveiled new solid fuel ballistic missiles that are easier to transport, conceal and launch than many liquid fuel versions. Since May 2019, he has conducted over 150 launches. Among the most potent are intercontinental ballistic missiles, successfully tested three times in 2023, which can be stored in protected underground shafts or rolled out on a transporter for rapid firing. Most of the new missiles are KN-23 missiles, capable of carrying nuclear weapons that can strike all of South Korea and US forces stationed there within minutes. Kim has also sent missiles to Russia to help President Vladimir Putin in his attack on Ukraine. This marks the first time missiles have undergone combat testing, which could provide Kim with the targeting data necessary to make them more capable of evading interception.